Hey beautiful collective, welcome back to the channel everyone. Thank you so much for joining me here and my guides. <laughs> collective energy. Ooh. Collective energy. Soul tie, I always feel connected to you. There is unfinished business there. We have things to resolve and to discuss. Understanding. I see your side of the story. Being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. Something about gossip. I'm afraid of what people would think. Absence. I feel like part of me is missing without you. Overwhelmed. The stress from this is draining me. Either you or them or both. Damage. We're both hurting from this. This person feels like you have too many differences. Indecis indecisive. I knew my inability to make a decision hurts you. Their shadow side. You made me realize my flaws. I failed to give you what you need. Neglect. They neglected you. They know they hurt you. They know that they were indecisive. But they worried more about what people would say. Says we still have things to resolve and to discuss. Now guys, I'm going to put it out there for you that I know many of you say I don't ever want to talk to this person again. But guys, you do not want to repeat this cycle in the next life. You don't want to carry this unfinished business around with you in this life. Nor do you want to repeat a cycle in the next life with it. So it's almost as if they want to tell you their side of the story or they want to hear your side of the story. And if at all possible, and I'm not trying to be a preach here, but if at all possible, if you can bring it with yourself to resolve whatever conflict this is, you will not repeat a lesson. particularly with this person or any soul tie that we have with anybody we have conflict with. It doesn't have to be this person. It could be someone else who neglected you. It could be someone else who, who it's like, it just makes your next life easier when you resolve issues that's it and release it and let it go things didn't go the way they planned you know our love is always there despite the difference the distance this person ran but they don't want to run anymore i had to let this go so i could clear my mind so either you have detached from this person or they have detached from you or you both detached they don't want to run anymore I want you to be part of my future. And somebody 
was unsatisfied. I wasn't happy with the way things are going. I left when things got hard. I'm still trying to heal. And this could be you trying to heal. They're saying you're a better person than I am. And I wish this never happened. Or you could be wishing that this never happened. They're saying we'll always come back together. Missed opportunity. I didn't act when I should have. So like him saying, you could feel shattered and confused about this. Could be too late. I wish I could right my wrongs. You're irreplaceable. I'm always longing for you. They know they've caused you pain. The lessons I learned from us will never be forgotten. So, as difficult as what this is going to be to hear, guys, like, they are right on one level. We will always come back together. Do you know why? Because of unfinished business. whether in this lifetime or another lifetime. And until the lessons have been learned on both sides, you will run into this person again. It'll either be in this life or the next one. So you want to make sure you have resolved your issues with this person so you do not repeat a cycle. Emperor and Empress. <laughs> they have regrets. Regretting their de decision. And even though there is distance. And confusion. They still long for you. And they always know you'll come back together again with this person. And it, like I said, it may not be in this life, but it'll be in the next. They regret. They regret their decision. Even though you're distance, this person is still attached to you. They still hurt. You could still be hurting. You're both hurting. didn't work out the way that they had planned.
They know they neglected you. This could be this person's habits. This is a soul tie. This is a soul contract. They could have habits that they have to break. But they love you. This is like a missed opportunity. But they will always come back around. It's like hearing their side of the story. They know they hurt you. And they're hurt too. They're still holding on to you, to your love, to the memory of you, the love you shared. They are. They should have acted. It's like I should have acted. I should have acted on this when I had the chance. I should have taken action. It's like worried what people would say or gossip <clears throat> worried about what people would say I know I gotta make things right They were worried about judgment. They're reminiscing the love you shared. They let their pride and their ego get in the way. They got so confused they ran. It's like they found it overwhelming or you found it overwhelming they ran 
They escaped. They're sorry. They've got shadow work to do. know how many of you could hear how many of you could hear their side of the story how many of you could hear it honestly like be honest and you know think about it could you hear their side of the story and this would go with any soul tie relationship not just with this person. Could you actually hear their side of the story? And then release it? Because it's sure better for you if you can. To make peace. Whether you repeat a cycle with this person or not. And if you're not interested in repeating a cycle with this person, it's even more important to have resolution. Because this person is right. You always do come back together. Lifetime after lifetime. And it needs resolved. And until you resolve it, you're going to keep meeting up with this person. <laughs> just the way it works guys which is why it's really really important to like reach the point of forgiveness because it releases that so that it doesn't come back in the next life you don't want another lesson as few lessons as what we have to repeat are better Take care.